Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome in my kitchen. We are here to build a new computer from uh, A to Z and uh, I have no experience building a, a personal computer so far so we will see um, what will happen. So I needed a new computer, especially a new uh, CPU to edit my videos and uh, so we will review quickly every component and then uh, we will do the, the building and uh, hopefully it will turn out well. So let me show you every component. So first of all, let me tell you that I didn't receive any money to show you all these products, but uh, they happen to be the, the best bargain on the market, I think. So to begin with, um, so I took a Tupperware just to <laughs> store the, the screw, the free screws. We'll see if uh, that will be useful. Then I have a, a building set, basic. I hope I don't miss anything. And um, now about the products themselves. So I have a Fractal um, Define R6 computer case. It looks pretty sturdy and uh, we will see how it uh, will do. Then uh, I have, of course, a power supply unit. It's a uh, RM series 750. Um, so it wasn't too expensive, but uh, it's not uh, one of the cheapest one either because I don't want uh, anything crazy to happen because of, um, of cheap stuff. And then the CPU, so that's what seems to be the most important for, for video editing. So I took a pretty good one. It's a uh, Reason 9, it's a 12 core. And um, I know there are a few better ones right now, but uh, it was a really good deal. It was about the same price as the Intel uh, 9, but uh, some tests showed that uh, it was like 25% better for video editing, faster anyway. And um, I don't know if that will be useful or not, but uh, apparently um, some uh, future graphic video cards uh, could be compatible just with the, the AMD ones and not the Intel one. So I think it has a better probability to, to be future proof. We'll see. Then we have the MPG X570 as a motherboard. And uh, it should be compatible with uh, all what I will and I have shown. Then uh, we have uh, an SSD 970 Pro. It's a Samsung, so it's one of the most expensive, but uh, it was also one of the best. So hopefully uh, I can work well with uh, that piece. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. And uh, to do some more storage, I just bought uh, a cheaper uh, Seagate Barracuda. We don't see it well for now, but uh, we will see it uh, later. Then we have the, the RAM, it's a 32 GB um, Corsair one with uh, two units. It wasn't that uh, expensive, so actually I could have gotten a little more for reasonable money, but I don't think that's really useful, so we'll see. And uh, last and not least, the GPU. So it's a uh, RTX 2070 um, Super and it's a uh, MSI one. So I 
actually um, it's relatively not the best component in the computer but I don't play um, high-end graphic games so I think it should be alright. I will do the the building step by step and uh, hopefully come up with a few tips and uh, struggles I will face. So let's get into it. I take electricity hazard and um, some internet sites um, write that you should uh, wear a wrist band, but uh, I don't really want to do that. I'm not sure if that's necessary or not. So I just want to take every precaution I have to in order to, to avoid uh, damaging the components. As I'm showing you right now, I'm working on a wood um, table without any carpet on the floor and I'm also working bare feet and uh, with uh, cotton clothing. <laughs> so hopefully it should be enough. And uh, then I will uh, just touch the, the case before I to touch uh, any components to avoid uh, building up uh, any static electricity. So now let's go for the, the building. So the fractile has given uh, me a, a user guide and uh, we shall use it to, um, to ensure that uh, everything uh, works well. First step is to uh, build the power supply units and then uh, we will be able to, to ground uh, the, the structure a little bit more so hopefully it will uh, lessen the, the probability of a static discharge. So, side panels, sorry. So you just have to pull sidewards. And the first thing to notice is that uh, there are a few screws and uh, whatnot that are hidden inside the, the box, the case. And uh, I didn't notice it at first and I thought they had forgotten it, but there it is. So I already checked that uh, no, nothing is missing. So I don't throw away anything before I know it's working, just in case I should have to send it back. Lots so of uh, four screws and uh, two of them look, as, look about the same, so it's pretty hard to figure out. And because they didn't give uh, a name to the screws, unlike uh, in IKEA. <laughs> but I think it's that one. The two components, the power supply unit and the this piece of, uh, of the, the box um, go right here together and uh, so I took uh, the screws and the big screwdrivers I like big screwdrivers that's what she said and then uh, we'll just put it together so let's tighten these up so I'm that's Tightening them uh, right away at the maximum, so there is still room to move the, the, the piece a little bit around and see if it fits perfectly. about the power supply unit stuff there so we'll just put it back in place and hope that uh, the future steps uh, are linked to the other components. I should turn the case sideways and now I should put out the motherboard. So once again abiding Building up static electricity. So it's a pretty big piece. So 
So there is a sticker. Just put there in place uh, in order to say that it's normal if the fan are silent. I'm gonna remove that. There's another one here too. And then I need the other components. First I put out the, the RAM and uh, for some reason it's shown that it should be on the first and third spot. So let's try. Apparently there is a, a direction, I don't know. So it didn't take me too much force to put it in place, so uh, I assume it's a good sign. But of course we won't be sure bef before we switch the power on. And of course I kept the switch off from the power supply unit, so there is no uh, hazard. So reading the motherboard uh, user guide, I see that I did something wrong with the, the RAM, so I have to put the first one always in the DI-NMA2 and the, the second one apparently in the DI-MMB2, so I'll just change that. <laughs> So I've unboxed the, the CPU. So now is the exciting moment. They are speaking about a, a yellow triangle, which I see on the CPU, but not on the motherboard, but I guess that's all right. So I should um, pull this little switch up and I can see it moves a little bit the, the CPU socket sidewards. So, uh, The last grounding, I'm gonna put the CPU in place. Alright, so the CPU is in place, it was uh, fairly easy, but now I have to put on the, the fan. So I'm not 100% sure which way it goes but it seems all right like this and uh, the cable the fan cable has a, a spot here so I think we should be all right And I can tighten it like this. I'm not sure how much strength I should use though. Yeah, I shouldn't use too much strength, I don't know. So after watching a few videos on the MSI channel, uh, they showed that uh, you had to switch this little thing. So I did, I had to use some force, but uh, I don't think I broke anything, hopefully. I've unboxed the <laughs> SSD 970. And in order to put it in, I have to unscrew the, the plate on the motherboard. So it looks like, like this, and I have to push 
it a little bit uh, in this spot and now I can tighten the screw. There we go. Now it's the time to try to put the motherboard in place. Um, so there was no nothing to remove at first sight inside the, the case. Um, and now we are going to, to see uh, where the standards should be. Uh, those are little uh, screws that are already placed in the case. And um, we'll see how it goes uh, along with the my mother part. A few moments later. There we are. So some of the screws were a real pain in the ass to work with, but I think it's uh, it's all right now. Now I will do some uh, cable connecting. I'm happy to see that it holds. Okay, so there were a lot of small details uh, I didn't want to record. So now I have to plug in the um, front panel indicators and uh, connectors. And uh, four of them had uh, plus or minus signs on it, but um, the, the two other don't. But still, it's written in the user guide that there is a plus or minus, so it's a little bit confusing. But uh, I've looked in, in the internet, and uh, apparently, it doesn't change anything except for the, the LED. So we'll see if that works. The last one is the front audio connector. Looks uh, pretty straight, straight uh, forward. And I finally found out that I forgot a 2.0 USB cable, so <laughs> now I know. There are two different cables for 3.0 and 2.0, which seems uh, normal. And there is the USB 3 generation 2, but I don't know. Uh, anywhere to put it in, so maybe I, I will see later, but maybe there is no spot in the motherboard to plug it in. So now it's time for the GPU, so I will need to remove the existing uh, pieces on the rear of the, the case. We get the graphic card. There it is. For some reason, uh, the explanation and the user guide seem way simpler than uh, what I did um, for now. But maybe that means that uh, the price, the high price, doesn't uh, always uh, means that it that it must be uh, harder to to install. So let me show you. So first you have to remove this little uh, plastic cover and then uh, do as I did and try to force it in because it doesn't fit. So Now it's perfect. Uh, GPU right in front of you. And underneath you have the, the front panel cables. And uh, now we just have the hard drive left to install. So let's get right into it. So judging by what I saw in the user guide, the SATA cable for the hard drive should look like this, an L shape, and uh, it has the same uh, shape on uh, both ends. 
So it seems I have uh, eight spots to put the hard drive in, but I think this one will be the most suitable since uh, it's right next to the SATA. And you can see it fits uh, well. So once more it's not clear which screw you should use, but anyway in the end I think it doesn't change anything, you have too much screws all together, so and there you are, now it doesn't move, and I can put it back right in the, the case. Now I have to do the, I guess, the less funny part, and do all the wiring, and hopefully nothing is Missing. So there is a total lack of information regarding uh, the power supply in every user guide, maybe except the GPU. So I'm gonna have to look it up on the internet just to be sure, even though uh, there are some plugins uh, everywhere, so I guess I could also just plug them and see what happens, but that's not what's the most uh, serious right now. So. So now uh, every component should be in place, including the power supply cable. Uh, it was a real pain in the ass to to set them up because uh, my hands could have, couldn't uh, get in small spots near the power supply unit. But now it's done. I hope because uh, there was only one uh, type of cable for the CPU and I needed uh, one, one more and uh, hopefully it's not too bad, but we'll see. So let me show you. So there is the CPU, the GPU, then you have the front panel cables and then I'm just gonna take a look around and The, the cables going to the power supply unit. So it's a little bit messy, but uh, I will have time to tidy them uh, later when I see it's working. So see you after the, the first test. So now we are back in my office about uh, 36 hours later after a load of. Uh, driver installation and uh, game installation and all that kind of downloads and uh, it went pretty well. I had some problem with my internet connection and I didn't know if it was because of the, the hardware but I guess not. So right now I am pretty happy. I had to I had just one troubleshoot that I had so on the motherboard lightning, um, it was either the, the RAM or the CPU, and I was afraid it was the, the CPU, but it was the RAM, which I had uh, badly uh, um, put into the, the motherboard. Um, actually, I tried just to push it uh, right into it, but uh, it's, it's not working like this. You have to push it first sideways and then uh, into the the bottom. So I had to do it again, and uh, then uh, everything was alright. So let me show you what it looks like. So I've put this little card over the power switch so my cat do, don't uh, switch the power off. And if you are curious, here is, here is uh, what my office looks like. I'm pretty happy right now. So now let me show you a little example of uh, what my computer can do on my favorite game, World of Warcraft, so one of my favorite games. 
so I can um, show the, the FPS. So right now my monitor is capable of uh, handling up to 144 FPS. So, and right now I'm used, using the recommended uh, graphics by NVIDIA GeForce Experience. So you can see if, if um, I'm facing somewhere with um, more things to to be displayed on the screen, the FPS go a little lower, but I mean I don't notice it too much. And uh, we can play with the graphics a little bit, so right now I have the, the recommended uh, graphics quality, but um, I can try to put them a little bit low, a uh, little bit uh, way lower. And uh, you can see this gets really ugly, but uh, the FPS stays at uh, the maximum. Or just so if you are interested in uh, this game, you can uh, use the, the max uh, FPS here, but uh, for some reason the NVIDIA GeForce experience took it over, so whatever. And now let's try to put up the graphics to the maximum. So if we don't deal with uh, anything too complicated, the FPS stays uh, quite good. But uh, as soon as we move or we encounter some uh, some other units, then the, the FPS drops to about uh, 70, which is okay, but I think um, the graphics quality difference isn't so important that I want to, to lower my FPS like this, so I think I'm gonna stick to the recommended ones. And maybe when I have time, I can uh, maybe lower some uh, less interesting parameters or improve some, uh, some others, I will see. Yeah, as you can see, uh, it's not uh, night and day when you switch between uh, the maximum graphics and uh, the recommended, but the lower obviously were terrible, so I'm pretty happy. But I must say, uh, with a kind of old game and uh, a GeForce uh, 2070, I was expecting a little more, but uh, I guess it's fine like this. So, so to conclude, um, as you could see, I had some trouble uh, with the, the microphone on the previous scene, but uh, that's all right. Uh, I would say I'm really happy with the what I could do just by buying components. And I would suggest to anyone who would try to do the same, to take some time and do it. You, you would learn a lot about the, the computer hardware and uh, end up uh, pretty confident about yourself and in order to, to resolve any kind of problem, any kind. Of course, not every kind, but most of it. And um, yeah, see you, see you guys uh, in uh, in future videos I will make in the future weeks. Um, actually, I don't know exactly what kind of topics uh, I will cover, but uh, there will be multiple, and of course there will be gaming. Um, I'm intending to cover the release of the new Magic the Gathering set, uh, the Theros one and uh, the new World of Warcraft patch in two days. And uh, I will play some uh, teamfight tactics. So, and I will likely try to stream, see what it, what it, uh, it does for me. Uh, so I will keep you guys uh, updated. 
So until then, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned. See you.